guys, so I'm doing the winter licious tag today. That's why I'm wearing my center hat to be a little festive. And I have a lot of modeling job which requires me to wear a super sexy female center kind of costume. And I wanted to wear that, then I was just like, okay, this is too much. So I decided to just stick in my center hat. Okay, and this tag is actually created by Bethany, which is my Barbie 07. I'll link her channel down below but you guys she's really famous and she's one of the most awesome people on youtube so most of you would have probably known her but i'm just still going to put the link below and i actually already have all the 12 questions in my phone right now and i'm just going to answer them one by one okay so the first Okay, so the first question is favorite winter nail polish and I have two right here. One is of course their classic classic red and this is by MAC. It's called Asiatic and it looks like this is this super bright red which I love a lot because it's neither orange tone or blue tone. It's just like pure pure red so I love this a lot and this was limited edition from the 2011 collection so maybe you guys can get it anymore but although you cannot get this nail polish anymore you can just get any red nail polish from any brand I believe most of them is the same but I just love this kind of pure pure red nail polish during the winter time and most of the time during winter I always do something cute with my nails like I'll draw a Christmas tree or a center hat and whatnot okay so that's the MAC nail polish in acetic and the next nail polish that I like is glitters and during Christmas season of course you need to have your glitter and this is by OPI called showy and glowy and I believe this came out from the brule collection and you cannot get this anymore also but I believe there are a lot of like glitter nail polish nowadays all the nail polish brands are coming out with a super super unique type of nail polish so I believe it will not be difficult for you to get this it will just be difficult for you to get this out of your nails but I mean this generally don't cheat on me so I love it a lot especially when I use it during the winter season and the next question is favorite lip product and Again, I really love wearing something red during the winter season, so I decided to pick up this uh, lipstick from MAC called Lady Danger. It's actually in matte, which looks like this, and it showed up really, really orange in the camera, and it's actually an orange base. Like, give me a swap. So it will actually look like that. And the reason why I like this is because orange base red lipstick will actually make you look younger especially if you are already being in, in your youth um, this will actually look more natural and again if you are someone who just started on wearing lip, red lipstick and whatnot and you're like too scared to go it all out pick out the matte one because it will just give you a more settled kind of look so that's the matte lady danger which is a matte red color and another color which i like to pick up which is super festive is by the Revlon red another color that i like to pick up which is like super festive this is by Revlon and it's actually the Revlon lip butter in red velvet and i love this a lot it looks like this and this is super super pigmented and i'm not going to elaborate on it further because I bet most of you has um, heard about it a lot of time so this is red velvet and personally I just love this because of the name is so nice it's red velvet and it's just this uh, bright red color I love this a lot and especially if my lips is really chapped and whenever I go on a holiday to a really um, cold country my lips always get chapped so I will reapply this all the time so I love this a lot this is the Revlon lip butter in red velvet Okay, and the next question is most worn winter clothing piece and we actually do not have winter in Singapore but most of the time me and my family always go on a holiday to somewhere wintry during this season and most of the time we actually go to Shanghai or uh, some part in China but sometimes we also go to Europe or um, Korea yeah, and Japan because to visit my grandma over there. Yep, so I'm just going to show you some of the clothing that I always wear during that period and it's actually this jacket over here which is super adorable it's like pink and it's pastel pink and this is like the shade of pink that I like yep and it has a really furry coat over here and this may not be the most um, fashionable thing that you will see out there but this keeps me really warm and it's actually your most worn item not your most favorite and I do wear this every single day whenever I'm in those um, cold climate especially those which has snow and I can't really stand cold actually like even though um, most Singaporeans always complain how hot Singapore is but 
be blessed people because winter season is not really that pleasant to me i mean winter weather so yeah so this keeps me really warm and it's really thick yeah and it's really cute it has all the furry thing over here and i'm just going to show a picture of me wearing this when i was in new zealand and yeah i love it a lot so that's that okay and next question is most worn winter accessories and for this i have to take out my center hat because i'm going to show you my most worn uh, winter accessories actually this beanie over here which i've already shown in a recent haul yeah and it's a polar bear okay i'm just kidding because i don't think i'll dare to walk around with this like all over the place okay but my favorite most worn um winter accessories actually this beanie which looks like this and beanie is really tricky you have to like wear it like something like this and ever i wore it like this which doesn't look really flattering but when you push it back a bit and and just make it outline your head the whole head overall and i just i just want it I just find that it looks really really adorable so that's why I love beanie and I love the one in white because it contrasts with my hair really well so just a normal beanie which looks like this so I just have to turn on the light on because it's like raining really heavily right now but the next question is your favorite winter scent or candle and I'm really excited about this it's actually my new found love which is red velvet by Yankee Candle it looks like this and it's just plain red so it's really festive but most importantly is the smell uh, it smells really sweet and cozy and most importantly it just smells like a red velvet and when I was doing this video I was really distracted because this just smells so good and strong also I can like smell it from like across the room so I love this a lot and I actually just got this like a few um, days ago and it came out in this bag from Yankee Candle which is super adorable it's very Christmassy and festive like um, the red and green theme so yeah I love it a lot and I love Yankee Candle more than Bath and Body Works um, a lot of people say that Yankee Candles burn more but they maybe it's just because they only have one wick but it smells equally strong as the Bath and Body Works so yeah that's Yankee Candle Okay, and next question is your most favorite winter beverage and I've always been a fan of Starbucks peppermint latte not the mocha one because I just love uh, peppermint latte but recently coffee bean came out with red velvet uh, hot cocoa which is like the awesomest drink in the world I love it a lot and I've been drinking it quite a while and I'm going just to put the picture over here this is the Starbucks peppermint latte and this is the coffee bean red velvet hot cocoa and you guys should try this out and it is actually pretty sweet so yeah you might want to watch the calories and stuff but it's awesome it's worth it and it's winter come on guys give yourself a break yeah so that's the coffee bean red velvet hot cocoa which is a must because i just love red velvet like there's this one time that there's a red velvet frozen yogurt in my froyo store and i like, go there every day to buy the red velvet froyo so yeah that's my love for froyo <laughs> And the next question is all time favorite Christmas slash holiday movie and my family's favorite is definitely gotta be Home Alone cause I don't know every year in Indonesia they always play this movie on TV so they'll play Home Alone 1 to Home Alone 4 so we'll always just like sit down on a dinner table and watch it so Home Alone but my personal favorite is actually Barbie in Nutcracker and the reason why I love that is one I love Barbie and second, and second is because we always perform Nutcracker for my ballet recital whenever like it's nearing the December season so it just give, brings back so many memories and yeah I just love it a lot okay and the next question is favorite Christmas slash holiday song and my likes is actually pretty classic it's just like Silent Night or We Wish You Merry Christmas and my favorite actually Gloria in Excessive Deo because it's always the song that they play the last in most church I don't know about like in other country but in Indonesia or Singapore or some other country which I visited they always play this on the, for the last song so it's just feeling really nostalgic and happy but sad that the celebration in church is over but when it's over everybody will be like saying Merry Christmas and some of us will go for our Christmas dinner and whatnot so I think it's pretty sweet and it always happens like during Christmas Eve because I personally go to church on like 24 December it's just like when I was smaller I always go to church in tw on 25th December morning yeah but for most time I always go during Christmas Eve and it just gives me such a nostalgic feeling of that 
to tell me that it's Christmas. So that's the classic that I love. But recently I love this song called by Justin Bieber and Mary Curry. All I want for Christmas is you. It's really awesome and I'm actually a believer. Some of you guys are wondering and I was actually influenced by my best friend Iman. So I influenced her to be a directional instead. So yeah, I'm a one directional too. So that's the song that I like. And the next question is favorite holiday food slash treat. And I, for savory food, I love turkey and cranberry because I feel that the saltiness and the sweetness blends in together really well. And for sweet, my all year favorite is actually candy cane, which is because I love peppermint. But honestly, my all time like favorite food i eat it like regardless it's christmas or not it's actually red velvet and i just love red velvet i don't know why it's just like my holy grail food i guess and i'm just like going to show you a clip of me and my best friend iman eating the best red velvet in singapore and yeah maybe i'll just like put the link to the facebook channel below and I'm just going to put the link of their Facebook page below because it's absolutely the best red velvet that you have ever eaten. Yep, so it was Iman's birthday and I'm just going to show you the clip right now. Hey guys, so we only live once, right? So we can eat cake today and some of today is Iman's birthday. So have, say happy birthday to her. Yes, yeah, so I have birthday to her in the comments. She'll really appreciate it. Really nice though. And my best thing. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so that's all about today. And the cake is really nice. It's like awesome. Look at it. We already eat it halfway by then, but it's still nice. Yeah. So that's all about today. Okay guys, so that's a clip of me and my best friend eating the best red velvet cake in Singapore with all the best red velvet in the world, seriously. And me and Zachary actually describe it as um orgasmic and when you eat it, you will have like the really high and you want to faint kind of feeling. So that's the red velvet in Food for Thought. Okay, the next question is, what is your favorite Christmas decoration this year? And I have two. And it looks like this. Ah, so cute, right? I got this actually from Daiso. And it's only $2 and it's just really cute. And I was like choosing between this and the reindeer. And since both of them look cute and it's only $2, Two dollars and I decided to bring both of them home. Yeah, and they seems really happy to be with me. And this year actually I don't have a tree because if you guys might notice my room looks more sparse than usual, like the one on top of the cupboard because I'm actually moving house soon, so you'll see a new room, a new setup in my next few video um later on. Yep, so I'll be moving a uh, house in 2013 though, so it'll be it will still be quite some time. Okay, next is so it's on top of your Christmas list and normally every year we don't really have the gift exchanging kind of tradition like during Christmas we always like volunteer in soup kitchen and whatnot so we are not those kind of center kind of person but if I have to say one thing that I want to be on the list of my Christmas I just want people in Singapore or in the world in general to be more gracious and whatnot because I just feel that it's really lacking in today's society and if I have to say one tangible thing that I want I actually really want a makeup vanity because I've never had one and when I was small my sister and my mom always have one and I always don't have it in my room because my room is smaller so I can only fit my bed and a study table so I never had a fancy table before and I saw the one that I really love in Ikea so yeah I just wish that I can get that. Okay and last but not least is what is your plan for the holiday this year and it's just same every year I'll be like during the Christmas period I'll be in Indonesia like we'll be going to the church and help going helping out in the soup kitchen or spending time with the family like eating Christmas dinner and visiting some friends and relatives and normally towards the new year or just slightly before Christmas we will go somewhere for a holiday to experience white Christmas or just a holiday to get away for the end of the year yep so that will be my plan for this year and yeah that's all the 12 texts for Christmas and I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I thank everyone to do this especially all of my subscribers to do this it's really fun actually as and even for me who don't experience winter in my country because Singapore is on the equator it's still really fun for me to do it so I guess all of you guys are tech to do this video and, and 
I'm really sorry that today's video seems a little bit choppy because of the lighting and my camera keep on dying. I don't know why. So maybe they'll be on my list this year. <laughs> yeah, so but I really hope that this video would work somehow and you guys have enjoyed it. So so remember to like my Facebook page and subscribe to me if you want to see more video. Okay, so that's all about the video today. I'm going to go now. So see you guys next time. Bye bye and Merry Christmas!